آه النهارده ان شاء الله هنبقى ريكابينج على الهايلايتس اوف ذا ميتاستاتيك بريست كانسر اللي حصلت في خلال سنه 2022 واحدة من الترايلز اللي كانت شيبينج ذيس تريتمنت بارادايم تشينج از ذا بالوما 2 اند ات انفستيجيتد الاديشن اوف ذا بالبوسيكليب فور ذا اندوكراينال سينستيف تريتمنت ان بوست مينيبوزال فيميلز هو ديدنت ريسيف اني كيموثيرابي فور ذير ميتاستاتيك سيتنج اند اكشولي ذيس از ون اوف ذا ايرليست ترايلز اللي قالت ايه اهمية الاديشن اوف السي دي 4 6 انهبيتور للتريتمنت بارادايم في 2022 في الفاينل اوفرول سرفايفل ذات وي هاد بين ويتنج لونج تايم ليا والفاينل اوفرول سرفايفل ديدنت اد اني اديشنال بينفيت ان تيرمز اوف سرفايفل فور ذا بالبوسيكليب تو ذا اندوكراينال كومبانيون اللي هو الليترزول Uh, however, there was some other exploratory uh, endpoints, the combined analysis of the عيانين اللي كانوا دخلوا في الترايل ديت بعد ما كان في disease free interval أكثر من 12 شهر that showed a marginal uh, benefit in terms of the survival gain. The other trial is the Monarch 3. Well, Monarch 3 is uh, again it's in the same fashion like uh, other trials that are investigating the CD4-6 inhibitor, and it involved patients with advanced metastatic hormone positive HER2 negative disease that also didn't receive any uh, treatment for uh, their metastatic setting. We can مهم جدا إن هي برضو confirm what we have seen. We have read out previously in showing uh, that the trial met its uh, primary uh, endpoint, which is the progression-free survival. But in the end, there is also additional added uh, benefit in terms of the final progression-free survival that was concurrent with the primary endpoint. Uh, and uh, for the interim overall survival, uh, still uh, we have a numerical gain in terms of the survival, uh, but we cannot conclude that the trial showed the survival benefit until we have a final overall survival for the Monarch 3. A right choice get where they can a phase 2 trial that try to investigate if the addition of the CD4-6 inhibitor uh, primarily a ribocyclib plus an endocrinal uh, companion versus uh, a duplet chemotherapy to assess for uh, primary endpoint which is the progression-free survival. وهنا كان في مهم ان احنا نعرف ان الانتجريشن بتاعت ال inclusion criteria of this trial is to have an aggressive disease and aggressive biology وهنا ال aggressive disease is being uh, defined as uh, patients who are in visceral crisis or having a heavy visceral disease burden or even having non-visceral that have an aggressive and high tumor burden without بيخلي ان those patients احنا عارفين in the clinic that we cannot uh, have the luxury to treat them except with chemotherapy at the start. وكان مهم ان احنا نراندمايز to give duplet chemotherapy versus CD4-6 inhibitor as a primary endpoint. And actually this results was confirming the activity of the CD4-6 inhibitor ribocyclib plus an endocrinal companion and it showed that this population had met its the primary endpoint and there was a gain in terms of the progression free survival for the arm of the CD4-6 inhibitor ribocyclib versus duplet chemotherapy. If a patient had progressed on the CD4-6 inhibitor, what to do next? One of these trials that try to answer uh, this question is the maintained trial. A maintained trial, it's a phase two trial that included patients who had progressed on CD4-6 inhibitor and to be randomized to receive continuation of another CD4-6 inhibitor, which is the ribocyclic plus switch of the endocrinal therapy versus the endocrinal therapy alone. And that uh, even was very important uh, to show that uh, we had still a gain in terms of the progression-free survival that gives us confirmation of the hypothesis that the ribocyclib as a CD4-6 inhibitor 
can still work beyond confirmation of the change of the CD46 inhibitor that already had been received in the first line. One of the trials that tried to investigate whether to include the fulvestrin or to include avimilap as part of the treatment paradigm is to check for being those who had progressed on the CD46 inhibitor to be randomized to the fulvestrin alone or the fulvestrin plus the palbociclib or the fulvestrin plus the palbociclib plus the avimilap. And actually, this trial was not so successful and they didn't show a benefit from the continuation of the palbociclib. However, it gives an idea that the addition of a third molecule can have a numerical gain in terms of uh, the progression-free survival. The AKT pathway, uh, PI3K uh, pathway, and they have shown in previous trials that alpelisib in this pathway is very active in terms of those patients who had progressed on previous endocrine therapy in the metastatic hormone positive HER2 negative. And one of these drugs is uh, the capavisertib, which is an AKT inhibitor, and it has been uh, shown in two trials uh, this year. One is the Factune that have the updated progression-free survival and the OOS survival uh, for data. And it showed that whether in the intent to treat when combined with the fulvestrin or in uh, those who have an altered pathway, that there is an again of the addition of the capivisertib plus the fulvestrin in those populations. the Capitello uh, study and the Capitello as well, those patients are those who had progressed on prior CD4-6 inhibitor. And actually, uh, addition of the capivisertib for uh, the fulvestrin in this uh, population showed again in terms of uh, the progression-free survival and in terms of the survival gain as well. Confirming that other pathways like the AKT pathway and the capacitor is active in this population. The HER2 negative even have been categorized into true HER2 negative and HER2 low. And the HER2 low are actually those are the patients who are HER2 1 plus or HER2 2 plus by negative by SISH or FISH. And actually, when you have molecules lay HER2 low, it showed an additional benefit. Uh, two trials have been reported, Destiny Breast O4, uh, uh, it, uh, and as well, a retrospective analysis from the Tropics O2 uh, trial. Well, the two trials dual can be able to investigate the additional added benefit of the antibody drug conjugates in the HER2 low. Particularly for Destiny uh, Breast O4, that was for HER2 low disease who had received previously one or two lines of chemotherapy to be either randomized to TDXD versus the chemotherapy of choice of the investigator had shown that in the HER2 low disease, there is an added benefit in terms of the progression-free survival uh, and the trial met its end point. For the tropics, that another antibody drug conjugate specifically for retrospective analysis of uh, the HER2 low showed that the addition of the antibody drug conjugate uh, in this population showed an added benefit in terms of the progression-free survival and in terms of the overall survival. For the HER2 positive, uh, additionally, there is uh, updated uh, survival data uh, for the Destiny Breast O3 uh, that investigated the addition uh, of the TDM1 versus uh, the uh, TDXD as an experimental uh, arm and what showed in terms of the TDXD, which is the antibody drug conjugate, to have an updated uh, benefit in terms of the progression-free survival and in terms of the overall survival, confirming that the TDXD is an excellent drug that will be uh, used in the HER2 positive disease for those population that had been progressing on the standard first line for their metastatic setting.